you guys oh my gosh so i'm on the disney cruise i am on the disney fantasy oh so we've been on the disney dream to go to the bahamas and to mexico um and we've also been on the disney wonder to go to alaska so this is our first time on the disney fantasy which i'm so excited we're definitely going to do like all the rounds to like go through all of the boats um but i'm so excited today is october 28th it's saturday it's embarkment day today's my 30th birthday and there's been so much going on in the world that's just making me so sad but to be here to be back on a disney cruise just makes me so happy i still remember the first time that i went it like wasn't that long ago it was like a year ago um it was last august it was on the disney dream and i never been. it was like the most fun experience ever it's currently around a little bit past 1 30 maybe like 1 45 ish we just got into our stateroom um they're kind of slowly bringing up all the bags so hopefully when our luggage gets here we're gonna unpack everything i'm gonna take a quick shower because we came from the airport and I just feel like the airport grime, you know, it doesn't matter if it's like a one hour flight or if it's like a six hour flight. I feel like being at the airport just has a certain level of grime to it. So I'm going to shower, I feel clean for my birthday. And then there's like a lot of stuff happening in the afternoon. We're going to go explore the ship. And like, there's just, I feel like like embarking day is just so much fun.
the British Virgin Islands. Okay, I need to do a better check-in for you guys. But oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm like the worst. I meant to do check-ins 
every day and then as you can see check-ins just like did not happen let's do like a quick update of like everything that happened so far because we're kind of getting near the middle to the end and i'm getting very sad about leaving we're gonna like go back to embarkment day and just update you guys our bags actually did not get to us um on embarkment day until after like the ship left the port and it was like around like five-ish that we got our bags which is a little bit of a different experience than we had on some of the other ships anyways i definitely recommend bringing like a change of clothes with you um if you would like i definitely felt like i wish it got to us earlier because i would have liked to shower i would have liked to unpack and like change out of airplane clothes i think we did that the other time so we didn't do that this time thinking that our bags would get to us and so that was kind of like a bit of like a mistake on our part embarkment day on saturday was my birthday and so in the end of the day i just feel like i just still had like so much fun and i just feel so blessed in a way to just be able to do this be able to have the resources to do this and just like be able to experience all this i just feel like i'm so lucky did eventually obviously get our bags i changed i opened my birthday gifts which is so cute for mikhail he got me um a couple clothes he got me a new moana ear it was just like the best and then we sat down for dinner and he gave me like the main part of my present which i didn't know about um so i was like this is a complete surprise and i'm gonna show it to you guys this was what he got me i'm already we're already engaged fyi um but mikhail did get me these earrings i hope the color is showing up properly but these are pink diamond earrings so everything is a diamond and then on the inside this is a pink diamond it looks so beautiful and i'm obsessed with these and so that was my birthday present for turning 30 so this is not just like some random birthday so then that was embarkment day and then there was two days at sea and that was pretty much the same as what we experienced when we went to Alaska, except for like the second day at sea, there was like a mini excursion, like to like take a boat ride out to a glacier when I was in Alaska. And then that was like only for like two hours, two, three hours. So it like wasn't like a full excursion day. It wasn't like a port day. Um, but so we had two days at sea. The first day was formal night and I love formal night. Okay, so there's something about formal night that just makes me so happy. I love seeing everyone like dressed up. That day, I feel like I just kind of like, we had so much fun just kind of like exploring the ship and like doing the different activities. Again, it was like, I love being able to just explore and being on the ship and so like, days at sea for me are honestly just amazing and that night we got to see aladdin like broadway style musicals and but except they're like an hour they're not like three hours so everything's a lot more condensed but the cast members on board the disney cruise are doing the performances but it's like super good i really love it and so they did aladdin that first day and it was so good the food of course like at dinner is just always amazing um you can order as much as you want oh so you definitely can like go crazy and of course this is kind of like the joke you know of like people going on a cruise and then it's just like everyone's just kind of like going a little bit insane on the eating so we definitely actually did go to the gym on both sea days um like the second day and the third day so that was day two and then on day three that was another day at sea and that day was pirates night but so pirates night is just so much fun um we didn't get to experience like fireworks and everything when we went to alaska on the last cruise that we were at um because in alaska like you know with like the wildlife and all that they couldn't do fireworks but so we're here in the caribbean so then they like can do fireworks so at night like at like 10 p.m there's like fireworks but before that there's like this whole big party everyone's dressed up like a pirate it's like there's like a dance party on like the like the main deck with like the pools and stuff with like mickey mouse and just so much fun and everyone's just like having an absolute blast it's like having so many days at sea you would think it gets like boring because like you're not like going out but then like every single day there's like something fun there's like trivia there's like there's like game shows and like we try to do them all and like honestly i just like love being around that because i feel like i'm around other massive disney fanatics and so that leads us into like yesterday okay so before we even get to yesterday being halloween day four we need to talk about like the british virgin island so that was our first port and it was 
so beautiful. St. Thomas, like um, US Virgin Islands, which is actually where we are here today. Like that's where everyone say like, oh, that's like the, the really nice port and all that stuff. It's like the, like the bigger city kind of a thing. It was just so peaceful. Like we took a little like 40 minute boat ride. Went to Virgin Gorda, which is a separate part of the British Virgin Islands. And they have like a couple different islands, you know, that like make up like Tortola. And so we took a tour around Virgin Gorda. And so we went to like Devil's Bay. We did this like cave hike, which was actually so much fun. I really loved it. Um, and then we did went to like the bass where there was a beach. And I just felt like the entire thing to me was just like so amazing. Everywhere I looked around me, it was just like nature so we got back and it was halloween so we changed into our like halloween costumes there was trick-or-treating and so okay here's the thing about our halloween costumes i feel like there was a part of me that didn't quite understood how hard people on the cruise were gonna go for halloween like people like dressed up like we met this amazing lady and her husband she looked beautiful she was dressed up as a live action cinderella and i went up to her and i was just like i just need to tell you i love the live action cinderella like i love cinderella in general and i love the live action cinderella and i love that you brought this entire big poofy ball gown moment like we took pictures it was just like i loved that and here's another closer look at the lamp that was a part of our halloween costume i got this from loungefly which is where like all of like you know like the classic iconic mini disney backpacks are from um but they also made this super cute thing and so like like look how cute it is and it's a bag and it's like pretty massive look at this this is so beautiful so i'm gonna go get changed we're gonna go up on the deck and because we're about to leave soon and just Look at everything before we do. so pretty um okay so about 10 30 we got up at like 8 30 so we went to a uh heroes quotes trivia and we lost in the tiebreaker round and i was so disappointed so we keep going to these trivias because i have a lot of fun doing them and we keep losing and i'm like well you know at least we like lose to other people who like know more about it than we do so like that's fine we had breakfast i also changed into an outfit i wore yesterday but then i changed out of i ended up wearing something else last night so i'm not like actually re-wearing an outfit not that would be a big deal but also do you guys see this got like a pimple on my lip the entire rest of the day is a day at sea and then tonight is like a semi-formal night i think i'm gonna wear my more formal dress though because i just brought two of them why not nothing stopping you from wearing something a little bit more formal um and that is tonight and they're also gonna show frozen in like the theater kind of like the broadway style version of it so i'm very excited and that's kind of what is in store for today
friends i'm finally home well no i'm not finally home now you finally see me home i meant to do a check-in at the end of the trip and i just never did and so here i am doing it like weeks late let me give you an update on how the last day castaway k went um so castaway k unfortunately that day it was a bit rainy and cloudy which the first time that we went to Castaway Cay last year, I feel like it was obviously not like that at all because we went in August and so it was like nice summer weather. This is like an October cruise and so I feel like that means fall weather and that still meant it was not perfect, but we still had a lot of fun. I think Serenity Bay, where which is like the adult area, we didn't really stay there that much because by the time we went there, it was like so windy and so the water was so cold and it, like it wasn't serene at all it wasn't really peaceful and so i just kind of felt like i was a little bit disappointed because of that but you can't help the weather you guys need to go when there's good weather because like there's just like nothing like it so it was a bit disappointing but we still had a lot of fun regardless we were snorkeling um and we just kind of stayed closer to where like the rest of like the general entertainment was like where all the kids were i think it made it a little bit easier to not feel as sad on the last day simply because we were going to be spending the weekend still at disney world so um debarkment day was saturday and like saturday morning so we got off and um we basically went to disney world and we stayed there saturday night and then we had like a sunday early evening flight home so the whole department situation to get from like the cruise boat to disney world wasn't maybe as seamless as i would have liked it so we have second dining time and so that means that we are like goodbye breakfast on the morning of debarkment day was at like 8 20. we had to catch our bus um by like nine and so it was just kind of a bit unfortunate because we had to miss it and i felt like everyone was basically sitting on the bus for just like forever waiting for the bus to leave and then you know you got then dropped off to all the hotels and then you still kind of had to like take your bags with you from like the bus to like your room obviously you still had to do that whole thing and so i just felt like it wasn't as seamless i think that if you go from disney world to the cruise it's a lot easier because then you can like pack up your bags and they can take it for you it's like a little bit easier of like a transition regardless we still got to spend the weekend there which you know i'm we're just like really grateful for and i feel like it was honestly just kind of like the best trip like i had a really fun time and we finally got to see um the new moana attraction everything was super interactive it was like a lot bigger honestly than i expected and that's not even like all of the construction there's like still construction i still think that the journey of water was super cool i personally really liked it if you take the time to actually like read the plaques and all that i feel like it has just what do you call it i don't know just like a really good message about like being conscious of your relationship with like water, conserving water. This is now our third time, our third completed cruise. And I just think that the cruise is like my favorite thing ever. The cast members on the cruise is like the best, so much better than the parks. The experience is fun. I get it, cruises are really totally always for everyone. And I feel like if you have kids, it's kind of like a matter of like, what do you think your kids are gonna be entertained by? But like as two adults without kids, like we just had so much fun. We got like a sufficient amount of adult entertainment. Like this is, I think now the second time we have seen like the Frozen Broadway style play something about like watching it multiple times and then there's always all these frozen trivia kids are always so excited by it i don't know why i like came back i like left the cruise with like a newfound appreciation of frozen I realized that elsa is basically my spirit animal and so therefore just been 
braiding my hair, my short freaking hair, but that's okay, it's growing. This is a very long and rambly check-in, um, but I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions on um, the fantasy, on going on Disney cruises in general, leave them down below in the comments and I will answer them all. And I have a dedicated Disney account on Instagram where I post like all my fun videos and we just have a really, fun time. I will catch you guys again soon in my next video and I love you. Bye!